Now let us move on to an important theorem in real numbers. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Every positive integer greater than 1 can be written in a unique way as a prime or as the product of two or more primes where the prime factors are written in a non-decreasing size. For example, consider 3. 3 is a prime number, so it is written as 3 itself. Consider 6. 6 is written as 2 times 3, with, that is 6 is written as product of 2 prime numbers. And also consider, for example, 253. It is written as 11 times 23, that is 253 is written as product of 2 prime numbers. Therefore, every positive integer which is greater than 1 can be written in a unique way as a prime or as a product of two or more prime numbers. And also remember, one is neither a composite nor a prime. Do you think that there may be a composite number which is not the product of the powers of primes? So let us take an example. Consider 2275. So let us factorize this. 2275 can be written as 5 times 4555. Since 5 is a prime number, it remains itself and now we need to factorize 455. This can be written as 5 times 91. Since 5 is again a prime number, we need to factorize 91. So 91 can be written as 7 times 13. Since both 7 and 13 are prime numbers, they remain as it is. So now therefore, 2275 can be written as 5 times 5 times 7 times 13, which is equal to 5 square times 7 times 13. That is, the number is written as product of powers of primes. So for a few more examples, we have 100. This can be written as 2 square times 5 square. 641, which is a prime number, is written itself. And 999, this is written as 3 cube times 37. And 1024 is written as 2 power 10. Therefore, we can conclude that every composite number can be written as a product of powers of primes.